action. Kind of weird without music, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, pretty prime strokes out there, Candy. A couple points here and there. You got on the winning end of this thing. <laughs> Stop her. No, oh, that's good, Mike. Hit me right in the balls next time. Find me, Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Danny, is this right? Should it be a little more to like the the, the right? Or? Ah, uh, forget it. <laughs> I hear rumors in your senses. That's me. Harry. Let's hug it out. You know that? Makes me uncomfortable when you put your dick so close to my dick, Carrie. <laughs> you don't have to be gentle. Do we do it or we don't? No! Don't do it! <laughs> it's a movie! Trust me, those women are... I would have swore right there if you weren't a kid. Fucking Gary. Oh, oh, fucker, Danny. I didn't mean it was not my. I never meant to suggest that tennis would die. I think we're on the same page. And you're looking at me as if you expect me to come up with something more clear. <laughs> 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 Did anybody here speak Asian? I love Coach Houseman. I love Coach Couchman. I love Coach Houseman. I love Coach Couch Chima. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're a good coach, Gary. Maybe the best. Yeah. 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 It's like a Mentos. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Rolling! Duffy! Hey, only marker! Set! Action! Oh. We grew up in the tennis world and just uh, seemed like a, a strange world. It's a little different than the uh, stuff movies are usually about, you know, football teams, cheerleaders and stuff. We thought, what about tennis, you know? It deserves its due. Maybe tennis has been good to you, but she really did a fucking number on me. When I read the script, I, I thought it was the uh, funniest script I ever read, and it, but it definitely might insult a few people. Like you, bitch! Get up and rip this motherfucker's butt open! And make him lick his own shit off your huge fucking cock! She really misses her mother. We wrote it about 12 times, at least 12 times, probably more like 20. And the last, you know, half dozen drafts were done with Danny. Uh, so it's been very nice because He's working with our vision, and then we're in turn working with his vision. And so actually what's on the page is exactly what he wanted. So it's great for us because there's really no danger that he's going to veer off in another direction because this is how he saw the film as well as how we saw it. And, and Danny, our director, is a wonderful um, visualist as far as comedy goes. I worked with Danny Liner on Dude, Where's My Car, which is... I think classic, and we should have won an Academy Award for that. It's I'm a little pissed. But this is our chance to get the little statue, because I think if, if I don't win an Academy Award for Best Actor for Gary the Tennis Coach, I quit. I'm done. They came to us with Sean attached and Danny attached and said, do you guys want to do this? And we've been sort of wanting to work with Danny for a long time. So we sort of jumped on board probably two days after we read it. That's what puts hair on a man. That's exactly how I see it. I'm Lou Tuttle. Gary Osman. I mean, I've loved uh, the opportunities with American Pie and Road Trip and Old School, but I, I'd have to say Gary Hausman is by far to me the funniest, if I do, if I do my job. Because it's on the script, it's, it's amazing. And I don't know, I think people might be shouting Gary, or maybe they might be throwing things at me, I don't know. Or combination of both. Well, Sean, I've been a fan of, you know, since Dude Wears My Car, and uh, he's very funny. He's, he's, uh, very unusual in his attack on comedy. 
He doesn't hesitate to to go to places that a lot of other actors, I think, would be hesitant to tread. But he uh, he's got a lot of courage. He's he's full of energy, full of life, always bringing up bringing up everyone's energy for sure. Yeah! Fuck yeah! It's a constant game. It's a fun game though. <laughs> Pretty prime strokes out there, Cappy. Thanks. It's been great to have the opportunity to produce it, just because uh, it's nice to have a say in things, and it's also nice to make sure everybody's taken care of and kind of be a leader on set, you know, and be creatively involved from the beginning. Action! See, now that I'm producing, I can yell at people and not get in trouble. That's a total joke. I don't yell. I was voted most friendly in high school. Sorry. You know, Gary's kind of a unique character and the fact that he's idolizing Coach Tuttle, which, you know, other people might think he's a nice guy, but Gary's the only guy alive that would probably pick this as his idol. Hey, uh, can you hold down the fort? I gotta go take a dump. You bet. Roles like this one, like Tuttle, you can just have a little more fun with, and, and you're playing a tennis coach. And... Action. That's something I've always wanted to play because I always like the look of them with the, the upturned collar and the floppy hats and the whole right, tennis go. thing. Andy, on the ball. It can get over the top. I'm trying to avoid doing that. <laughs> I, I think the, the more realistic you can play a character like Tuttle, the, the funnier it'll be. He is absolutely perfect. I mean, he's got everyone just on the floor laughing during his scenes. Every time he was doing his lines off camera, I was ruining a bunch of film because I couldn't stop laughing. Look at that little dandy. I've told him a hundred times, I don't want to see that faggy two-handed forehand shit, Nibby, one hand, God damn it! This boy doesn't have an ounce of self-respect. Randy Quaid is you know, such yeah. a great actor. I mean, I just recently saw him in Brokeback Mountain, which he was unbelievable in, and Seeing him in, you know, the family vacation movies with Chevy Chase, he's also hilarious. I had a lot of fun with Chevy and working on the vacation movies and um, kind of the same report with Sean, you know, he's, um, he's fun to work with. He's a, easy to, to get along with and um, he's very willing to, to go and, you know, play, play with you. So it, it's, uh, we're having a good time. All right, that's what, 20 zero you? Oh, my character, Mike, he's, um, well, his parents are sort of mean, I guess you could say. They said that your herpes cream is on the way. Ah, oh, shit. And um, so just try to get through it. But then Sean, Sean's character, Gary, helps me sort of come out, turns me into a man, as he likes to put it, in interesting ways. Whoa! You got to take that thing off. We got ourselves a first timer here. That, that turned out to be a lot raunchier than I expected. <laughs> I thought, OK, she was going to come in, maybe dance around. It's not going to be that hard. Gary, I think I'm just going to head out. No way. Don't set a puss example for Cappy. We're trying to make a man of him, for Christ's sake. You know, she takes off her top, and he's like, okay, you're going to have to fake an orgasm, and she's going to be touching your crotch and all this. And so Danny's in the background like, all right, faster, faster. You, all right, all right, orgasm. And I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> it's quite the experience. 16 hours worth of it, too. Good. Go again. I had met Danny briefly, and we talked a lot on the phone about the movie, and we got to, uh, we met, everybody met here, actually. I had gotten here early, and I was waiting to pick them up, and Danny sort of walked out, and he said, hey, it's Dick Dalbert. He's here to pick us up. And I was like, okay, Danny, that's very funny. I'm actually had a production for Green Street, and I you know, haven't acted in 10 years. That was June, and like every single thing that we've done since then, whether it has been, you know, budget meetings or whatever, Danny has always sort of said, you know, you're Dick Dalbert. It's just the way it is. What is it, Steve? Uh, well, it's Gary. There was an incident in front of the cross-country team. He was only wearing an athletic supporter, and he, he was hitting the boys with tennis balls. And Not the blind boy. No, no, he was hitting our boys. One more. Ready? And action. Go get it. A lot of comedies. <laughs> the, uh... The scripts are pretty good, but it's kind of just a foundation for you to go off and, and uh, improvise, which I love doing. But this movie, actually, the script is really fantastic. It, there's really no room for improvising because everything works just as it should. 
Danny does let us take a few takes and kind of explore a little bit. The other day we were watching a scene between Gary and Coach Tuttle in the bathroom and Randy keeps throwing his cigarette in the urinal that Gary just cleaned and it wasn't in the script. And Every time he did that I, I about ruined the take. Action! Physical comedy is very difficult to do because the timing is so important in physical comedy and it usually takes so much effort on the part of the comedian actor to to bring off physical comedy. And each corner is a 60 degree angle. An isosceles triangle, only two sides of the same length. And you know, we grew up playing tennis. I, I met Rick uh, when we were about eight years old. I think I think maybe we was it Grand Island? Grand Island. Tournament. Played a played against each other in Grand Island. I'm pretty sure I won that one. But uh <laughs> we hated each other though. <laughs> He's my nemesis. I fucking own you, Gary. I don't remember that honestly. Like maybe you hated me. I didn't remember that. But... Yeah, I did. <laughs> Pretty in like eight hours a day to really try to look like a real high school tennis player. Maybe not pro, but I think I can pull up high school tennis player by now. Because it's not so much getting the ball in the perfect location. Like I guess you'd practice playing normal tennis, but we're trying to just look good. Then we go into the weird shots like tweeners. Where'd you learn to hit that last one? I haven't seen a tweener since Yannick Noah in the fridge. You know, that between the, the leg shot, between the wiener, I guess that's how it got its name, tweener. Action dog! Well, I'm coming from Lincoln, Nebraska, and uh, we thought there was an outside chance of them filming there, but then once they said Austin, you know, the crews are here, and it still has that Midwest feel, so we just think it's perfect. I live here, so I'm, I go to UT Law School, so it was very convenient to have it uh, located right here. Danny and the writers wanted very much to hold on to this Nebraska setting, and shooting in the middle of winter in the middle of Nebraska is not really going to do it for us. So I knew we needed to be someplace south, and I knew we needed to be someplace that was going to give us a crew base, and, I, and I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. Good. Good. It's just an unbelievable city, and, and uh, everybody's great. All the ladies are hot. Django, uh, bandana. No, I just think it's been great because I like it. Still feels like a small town, but there's plenty to do, and, and uh, I love the music and the food. It's a good place to to be on location. I'm all, I wish I was here longer. But it's got a lively music scene and great restaurants. Any other questions? <laughs> We're good. Great job. Okay.